Grand Rising guys, we're going to be doing a reading. This is going to be a general collective, all signs, all placement read. Okay, we're going to be doing a read from Out of On the Grind Oracle, okay, by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And I'm just going to be seeing what it is that Spirit wants for you to know. Okay, what's the overall message that you need to be aware of at this time? It says traveling for work, but that's in the reverse. All right. Somebody may not or you may not travel for work. Okay. You may just work within your city limits. All right. You may not have to travel anywhere for work. You may work at home most of the time for some of you. Okay. Or for this specific person. All right. Keep in mind, this is past, present, and future energies as well. All right. It says awesome time to get out to get the car of your dreams treat yourself but that's in the reverse okay so you may be thinking about getting you the car of your dreams but you may not um work um at this time um, where you need to have a car so there's no point of you getting one because you work from home possibly all right so just stack up your money at this time and save because you'll be in a better position the longer you wait um you'll be in a better position plus at this time this is just not the right time to be buying a new vehicle or any purchasing any major making any major purchases period <laughs> with the economic system being the way that it is all right you don't even know what's going to happen with the dollar all right it's so inflated all right we have financial vision board so you may need to create a vision board to um spark more motivation for your day-to-day -day activities so that you can get to the goals that you're trying to accomplish all right it says motivation to start adopting better money habits and stay on track yeah you need to start focusing more on where you're putting your money how you're spending it you need to start keeping more better track of you know your finances and where they're going how you know you're spending them out what you're spending them on is it really that important for you to be spending it on what you're spending it on are you doing it because you need it or because you want it are you in the position right now to be doing it because you um want it um because you should be doing what you need at this time for sure if you're not in the position to be you know fucking over your money when you got other shit to be focusing on so that you can get out of the you know grind of being on you know a day-to-day -day budget or a weekly you know um or bi-weekly you know amount of, or limit that you can spend because you know you got to make sure you you can get to work or you got to make sure your kids if you have children because i wanted to say kids for some of you your parents got to make sure your kids have what they need you know, you just want to make sure that everything is covered. All of your expeditures are, you know, well thought out um, as far as how you're going to cover them, where they're coming from, you know, making sure that you're balancing things out because you're, you're aiming for and your goal is for you to have financial freedom. But you have to make sure that you're doing the things you have to do in order for you to get this thing that you desire, Okay. Um, it's feasible. It says we um, living in the good lifestyle, luxurious pleasures, but that's in the reverse. Right now, you can't live this luxurious life. You want to live a luxurious life. You want a fancy car. You want a luxurious car. You want the car of your dreams, okay? You want to have beautiful things, but you have to create this vision board in order for you to get there. You have to know how you're going to get there. You have to um format a plan and clearly put it in front of you you're the type of person who you'll do the things that you see that's in you'll do what you see in front of you but you're not as ambitious to you know just do them if you don't have you don't see anything in front of you or any real examples and at this time what you're trying to do you don't have any examples to show you so you have to be the example and you have to lead for the ones to come after you so you have to you know go out there and do the hard work you have to you know create the environment you desire to see 
in the long run where you see yourself being create that environment now and as if you're already there money loans in reverse all right don't it says maybe a good time to get a loan to help with debt consolidation but that's coming out in the reverse if you're considering getting a loan all right to get you out of debt spirit is saying don't do that all right things are getting ready to um you know go go in your favor all right if you're somebody who is similar to myself okay a real estate agent or something of that nature or if you're into real estate just in general or you know you um because it says real estate property manager flipping houses appraisal and leasing so you could be someone who's a real estate agent this could be for myself i speak this over myself because this is definitely true for me um, but it says money saved for a rainy day. Have about three to six months worth of living expenses. This goes into if you don't have, if you can't afford to do what you need to do on the, you know, um, day to day. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, if you have to penny pinch in order for you to get the things, the necessities that you need, you don't need to be getting what you want. You need to be focusing on what you need, saving, putting into this um, this jar or where, wherever you put it into your savings account, into wherever, you, you know, an investment account or whatever you're investing in. Put it somewhere where there's going to be some growth that comes out of it so that in and what leads you up to have at least three to six months worth or more for living expenses so you don't have to ever worry about if things collapse like you know um all of a sudden how the banks are closing all of the banks um close or there's a freeze on your account have something set up so that you don't have to worry about if you know the worst comes to pass okay or if you were to lose your job or if you were to lose whatever business you have or if something you know a legal matter was to come up and you go into litigation just whatever all right um but i'm seeing that there's going to you're if you're into real estate you're going to sell a house and this is actually going to be great for you okay it's going to be you're going to make enough in order for you to do this in order for you to create this um savings all right if you don't have one you're going to be able to create one from the sale all right so that that's the first move spirit wants for you to make is work on your um savings account all right make sure you have what you need okay hard work what you're doing it doesn't take or require hard work okay it says construction maintenance mechanic landscape hobbies and crafts but that's in the reverse okay you may have been thinking about taking out a loan in order for you if you're somebody who's into crafting and things like that you may have been thinking about getting a loan to do it excuse my daughter in the background playing with her sister um you don't you don't need to do that okay it's from selling this house it'll go into you being able to save money for your three to six months for your rainy day savings and you'll be able to invest in yourself for whatever you know hobbies you have or whatever side hustle you have okay and for some of you you um may you know work in real estate but you don't have to worry about the hard strenuous parts of you know the work you can hire someone in order for you to get this work done for whatever you know if you're flipping houses you'll be able to hire someone to help you out with that all right so don't worry about it all right but that is pretty much what I have, okay? You got to create a structure plan in order for you to create, in order for you to manipulate, or not manipulate, but in order for you to execute these plans. But it'll work out. And the main reason why it'll work out is because your real estate is going to help you to do so. You're going to be really good at selling houses you're going to be great okay there's going to be a lot see a lot of money coming in from you selling houses flipping houses or if you're a property manager for an agent you're definitely going to be doing a great job at it where there's going to be a lot of income coming in from it i'm hearing multiple streams of income coming from one trade but that is what i have for you guys at this time guys please do thumbs up the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'm going to take some numerology and get right out of here okay all right we have capricorn we have aquarius we have gemini and we have cancer seven one seven two seven six we have six one six two six seven two seven two six two one one two one seven one six. 
Guys, please do thumbs up the video and make sure you take care of yourself. Be safe. I love you all and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.